Yeah, so okay, that problem, how it works in our schedule. Suppose you want to generate the 10,000 observation. So here I'm considering the different values of my alpha, okay? Because I need to be understand what to be my alpha values and all. Okay, so I'm considering my alpha is 1.5 and I'm defining here my function h, okay? This is my function. Which is a uh, e raised to oh what is this? This is your h of x function, right? H of x function. X square by two. X square by two plus alpha time absolute value of x. So let's run it. Let's. Now just create a sequence here. Because we want to just look at at what value it is missing. Okay. And calculate uh, calculate the H X one based on this function with uh, A one is. 1.5. So this is the this is your data for first function h x1. Look at this. So these many observations we have generated from that particular function h of x. Now you want to see the what what will be the maximum value, what is the minimum value. So if you just look at here with very like minus 5 to it's running from minus 5 to maybe the positive value. Maybe there's some positive value you can get it from here. So you can just look at the graph for this, it, it's become clear. Okay. Similarly, if you consider alpha the value is 0.8. If you consider alpha the value point eight, just calculate, <clears throat> just calculate hx2 at that point. Similarly, consider alpha 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 the value 2 point. And calculate again hx3. And now you plot hx3 having that limit minimum of h1 h2 s3 and maximum of h1 s2 s3 based on based on the this function if we consider minimum maximum okay so this is the one graph let let's let's draw this line first And look at this picture. So here, if you just look at the maximum value, so it will be around uh, minus three here and again here it is three. So minus three to plus three would be your actual uh, at at what at that point it it is uh, maximum. Okay. At that point it is maximum. So ideally that uh, Sika value will be approximate that particular point. But maximum of you want uh, f of x upon g of x. We'll just check it this way, see whether it works or not. So we have this particular period, proposal period. This proposal period here. This is your target period. Okay. Let's draw this proposal and uh, proposal PDF first. Okay. Okay. This proposal PDF. So it is a two word, uh, your X values. Okay. So uh, the shape become like it is inside. It is not uh, outside. Okay. It's not outside. It's inside, but it seems to be the, uh, become a normal, but 
you can say it is a uh, if you just uh, get the values of x so what are the values of x you have here these are the values of x you have considered right minus 5 to minus 5 to can you consider suppose minus 10 to 10 here get this x and now plot this Okay, we have to conclude this part. And look at this graph. So it is actually tending to the normal, but the shape is different. Okay, now let's draw for this. Look at the shape. So, as my x is increasing, maybe here approximate the tail for proposal and tail for uh, target is almost tending to same. Okay, it is not equal, it is tending to same, remember. Okay, but if you just look at the shape here, this, this particular shape for the proposal and for the target having a lot of gaps okay so might be might be acceptance probability is less here it will be below 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 40 below 30 it can be because it is not exactly the matching your uh, proposal with your target okay but just look at the shape so shape according to that at least it is little matching not not like the previous example the previous example we have observed one graph will be like this one graph will be like this one graph will be like this if we remember okay but at least for this problem it is little matching but we are still we are not sure about whether it will uh, give you the acceptance probability more than 50 or more than 70 percent or not okay so if it is more than 60 that means it is good it means the proposal which we have considered it is it is good uh, uh, and it is related to your target okay? Then you have computed here a C. Now see here, look at, look at the Cka value here. The C is coming here 1.3. Now here Pika value by default it is assume uh, 3.17 and all. Okay, so there's no changing that. Now let's create a loop for this first. I think this part we have to show it is uh, uh, we have to show that it is coming 1.3145. I will just uh, share with you the practicals today so that you can uh, get an idea how the factory problem is all based on this. Okay. Just a second. Huh? So let's start with the counter. The k is one. If we are creating the empty vectors, okay. And three factors. And now we'll create a loop. So here, if you just look at the graph, uh, if you just look at the theory, we are having the two uh, PDF. One, if it is less than 0.5, then we have certain observations when if it is greater than 0.5 then we have certain uh, uh, certain observations generating from y okay so we have to write both the functions of use if so under for loop we have two condition we are generating from first u1 which is uniform then we have to write the two pdf this is we have not written many uh, in any of the following uh, 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 yeah, problems but since you are generating from the proposal and they are uh, invertible that means inverse is exist for that so we have to first generate from there okay so if this condition true then we take the value of y okay if this condition true then we will take this value of y right and now we will generate u 
from uniform r is usual your d norm divided by c time your uh is right total Let's check suppose it is right or not. Sir. Yeah. Sir, alpha is one point five. Then in proposal density, it should be zero point seven five. Alpha by two. C into your proposal. So, have we written the proposal is right here? Let's check it once again. Sir, alpha one point five liya hai na. No, no, alpha is one. Alpha is one. Sir, uh, the point in bracket minus point five is not there. Only absolute value of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm thinking of. So if we consider the shear here, the point five not come, right? Yes, sir. Minus will there, right? Yeah, then now let's call this shape almost same. It um, uh, do not change much. See, it's more skewed. Uh, what is that? It's highly pinked. So now, now if we just look at that, then almost there is a gap. Uh, that the gap is reduced because we have uh, it was in the wrong uh, uh, that proposal, my, my, that point five because of that. But now if you just look at this, almost it is uh, uh, matching with your uh, uh, proposal with your target. Okay. So see, this is the way we have to analyze using that graph. Okay. That's not because, because I just uh, uh, seen this uh, because it is your uh, uh, what is that? <coughs> this is your target into C time, target upon C time proposal. Right? So proposal I just seen here point five is not there. That means I thought maybe there is some mistake here. And uh, then once you just find out the ratio of that. Check with the condition if that generated observation is less than equal to R, then that counter will be the your Y value and increase your counter. Okay, so just run this part. I we have not done this. Let's run this first. Get this end. Okay. <clears throat> so it is sixty nine percent. It's a mistake, I guess, na? Because we are generating from ten thousand, na? We run it once again.
yeah now it is fine so we may say that 75% is your acceptance probability in this in this problem means the proposal which we have chosen here that is absolutely matching with our target period okay you can look at the plot also for this now look at the plot of this and look at your plot of your uh, uh, target Let's take minus five to five. Look at this. So, what you can conclude here, students? Understand? What you can conclude? Generated observation from the proposal density is exactly matching with your target density. Are you getting the point? Yes. Bolo, or kya query hai kisi? So you may try out one more uh, one more problem here. So uh, this is the practical number one. Okay, I will share the updated uh, updated uh, practicals. Okay, but these problems have to consider. Let's look at this. Consider the using acceptance suggestion algorithm from the normal zero comma one random variable from the double exponential distribution function. Okay, alpha by two. So that is the PDF we have considered proposal. Show that. So that the probability of acceptance is then this, so which you have obtained na c ka value apne nikala na, that is the probability of acceptance, and hence reduce, hence reduce that to produce the one normal random variable. Uh, this acceptance rejection algorithm requires on an average one point three, one point three normal, one point three normal variables. Okay. Is the value which you have computed that is the uh, basically uh, around 1.3 is coming up so that is the uh, on an average it is on an average we require 1.3 normal variables and then implement the acceptance decision algorithm to generate the observation which is around 1 lakh from the normal 0 comma 1 so you can do the same example which have, we have already done it here then uh, this is another example consider acceptation method now here we have considered a positive normal density function and proposal is this okay i guess we did this one last class so you can show that the constant term is this implement again same then we have uh, another example here which we did it already okay you can practice this one fourth one okay just i'm giving here which you can do it here right now
so that in one practical you have at least four questions. Take down. Just uh, do it with do it with me. Suppose we wish to generate random variables. from f of x is equal to 20x in the bracket Just for now, it's kind of this. One minus x power two three zero is less than x less than one. So this is my target PDF. I want to generate from this particular PDF. Okay. By considering, uh, you can consider. Maybe you can consider uniform distribution. Okay. Assuming. Assuming. Proposal is uniform zero comma one. Implement acceptance rejection. Just try this. So first, what do you want to do that here? Just calculate f of x upon h of x. So, which is going to be same only. I hope you are getting the procedure. Yes, sir. Yeah. So roll number three is present. Three, seven, eleven, twelve. Three, seven, eleven, 
twelve, thirteen, twenty two, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, thirty. Thirty one, thirty three, thirty five, thirty six, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, 